In this series, we're going to look at energy. Energy, at a really basic level, is what gives things the ability to change in some way. When a boat moves across the water, it's changing its location. Energy is needed to make this change happen. Movement requires energy. When you cook food, the temperature of the food changes and so does its chemical composition. Energy is also required to make these changes happen. When you pull on a bow, the shape of the bow changes and, you guessed it, energy is required to make this change as well. When something has energy, it can make things change. Energy is actually really hard to define, to put into words that say exactly what it is. So for convenience, we normally simply describe energy as coming in different forms. These forms of energy include light energy, electrical energy, chemical energy, sound energy, heat energy, nuclear energy, elastic potential energy, gravitational potential energy, and kinetic energy. These different forms of energy are all constantly changing from one form to another and they're constantly transferring from one thing to another. In this program, we're going to look at these common forms of energy and examine situations where energy transforms from one form to another. So let's begin. If something is moving, it is said to have kinetic energy. The word kinetic comes from the Greek word kinesis, which means movement. So kinetic energy is movement energy. Anything that's moving has kinetic energy, and that kinetic energy can be put to good use. A moving bus has kinetic energy. A moving boat has kinetic energy. A plane taking off. A bird flying in the air. A person running. Everything that is moving has kinetic energy. But where do all these things get their kinetic energy from? Well, the energy comes from the fuel that they use. All fuels have what we call chemical energy. This piece of wood doesn't look like it's got much energy. It's not really moving, it's not really hot or anything. And yet, when wood burns, the energy that it has, the chemical energy that it has stored inside the chemicals that make it up, gets released in the form of heat energy and light energy, which are two types of energy that we'll look at in more detail soon. The fuel we put into our cars also has chemical energy. In the engine, the fuel is burned and the chemical energy that is stored in the fuel is released and the car gains kinetic energy when it speeds up. Animals get the energy that they need from the food that they eat. For animals and humans, food is our fuel. It also contains chemical energy which our bodies need to do all the things that we do. Our food actually contains all the essential nutrients that we need to live. Food contains carbohydrates, which provide energy for our bodies, fats and oils, which also provide energy, but which also have many other functions in our bodies, proteins, which are the main building blocks of our bodies, vitamins and minerals, which play lots of different roles within us, fibre, which we need to make our intestines, that is, our guts work properly, and water. Most foods contain a combination of these essential nutrients. But it's the carbohydrates and the fats and oils that have chemical energy stored in them. Chemical energy that our bodies need. Carbohydrates, probably our main source of energy, are contained in, for example, rice, potatoes, foods made out of wheat flour, such as pasta and bread, and fruits and vegetables. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from Shedding Light on Energy Episode 1, Forms of Energy. The three-part Shedding Light on Energy series allows teachers to teach the topic of energy really easily, without actually using much energy. With a perfect mix of biology, chemistry and physics, we explore every aspect of energy, including what it is and how we measure it. Episode 1 of the series, Forms of Energy, is really two lessons in the one video. After a brief introduction, we familiarise students with the many different forms of energy that affect their lives daily. These forms of energy include, for example, kinetic energy, elastic potential energy, and chemical energy. In the second half of the video, students learn that energy can be transformed from one form to another, and we look at many different examples. Our highly visual approach to educating students, combined with perfectly structured activity sheets, 
allows them to learn far more easily and far more effectively with a lot less effort from the teacher. And who doesn't want that? You can read a transcript of the video that has dozens of screen grabs and download the student activity sheet on our website at www.liakoseducationalmedia.com. So visit us today.